Greetings friends, Chaos here. Welcome to the Hippie Let's Play. This is the first time that I'm trying something like this on the channel, and if it goes well, I'll have more themed Let's Play series in the future. So if you enjoy this series, be sure to let me know in the comments, and if you want to catch the next episode, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. <laughs> So you may be asking yourself, exactly what is the Hippie Let's Play? This is a survival series where I'm a peace-loving hippie, which means I won't be using any direct weapons. But I still must progress through the entirety of Terraria. Think of it as technically a pacifist playthrough, kind of. Say I have this boulder, and I hit it with a pickaxe. It's not my fault that the slime didn't jump out of the way. I didn't kill the slime, the boulder did. I just gave the boulder the freedom to do what it wants. Or if I'm underground and I'm mining and this bat flies into my pickaxe and dies, I didn't go out of my way to attack the bat, it just flew into my swing and turned into a bunch of bits and pieces. Even though summon weapons don't directly attack without the use of a whip, I will not be using them as they are a key component to Terraria's combat system. Anything that can hurt me when I use it and cannot be directed at an enemy, I will use. I can also use mounts and minecarts to attack as I'm technically not attacking. I'm just moving from one location to another. If something is in my way, that's not my fault. Besides defeating bosses, the series has one main goal in mind, keeping the guide alive at all costs. Normally, I get great satisfaction from finding interesting and unique ways of removing the guide from existence. Just check out my Rube Goldberg machine if you're curious about that. But since in this playthrough I am a hippie, I have decided to make my mortal enemy the one NPC that I have to keep safe. This playthrough will be done in journey mode, set to master mode difficulty, and the key purpose of this let's play is to create a more simplistic yet still entertaining content for you all to watch. That means no grinding for materials for building, but I still want to build. Gathering materials for it just takes way too much time, so that's why I'm going to be using journey mode. One last thing before we hop into the let's play, I did pre-make a character who is wearing some items. These are strictly for vanity. I just want to actually look like a hippie. And I also have some crafting materials to create one special starting build. Everything else in my inventory is standard for journey mode and I will start the let's play just with those items. With that said, let's create the world. To get the name of the world, as well as the seed, I asked the community section of my YouTube channel for some recommendations, and there were two people tied for the top slot, so I'm going to pick one of the name from one of them and the seed from the other. The first one had the world name of Peace and Love, and the world seed recommendation for that was For the Worthy. I am not ready for that. We will be doing it in the future. It will happen, but not for this one. I'm already challenging myself enough. <laughs> and and the other one, uh, their world name was Peaceful Onslaught, but we're going to go with their seed of Furious Pacifism. And so here we have our world save. But if you would like to help decide what the next Let's Play world name and seed are going to be, be sure to subscribe so that you can also participate in the community section and here we go right into the world now i just want to mention if i sound a little bit different or if sounds are a little unbalanced right now it is because my computer went through an update which of course broke a lot of things so i had to do a complete fresh reinstall of obs which is my recording software and i've had to rebalance all of my audio fantastic right so uh, I guess first things first, we're going to get rid of this summon weapon. We will not be needing it. Maybe I'll hold on to it to sell because I will not be duplicating money. Uh, same goes with the weapons. We're not going to be using any of those. Now, if I happen to be chopping down this tree and these slimes walk into it, that's whatever. Now we have to keep Garrett here alive. 
um, <laughs> at, at all costs. And as you can see here, we have building materials and there's a reason for this. I just wanted to start off with one specific build at the very beginning of this let's play. And that's because, well, what hippie is complete without his hippie buzz? One Volkswagen bus for my hippie. <laughs> I'm really happy with how it turned out. It took a lot of revisions and a lot of reworking. So a big thank you to all my friends who gave me input on this and this final product, pretty happy with. So that's the only build that I'm gonna kind of start off uh, not gathering any materials for. There are some materials left here, actually. I think I need to put that in there like that. All right. It's almost nighttime, things are getting dangerous, and we already have gold. Nice. <laughs> um, I'm going to start off by putting the guide somewhere safe underground, I think, um, if he will cooperate and not stand by trees so I can actually dig downwards. Let's see if we can coax him into walking into that little hole there. Um, we might need some blocks. Of course, we got to keep him safe. Nighttime's coming. And I'm probably going to get myself underground. It doesn't matter if I die. The guide has to survive. Oh, look, he went right on in. Okay, we're going to keep him there temporarily till we get a house set up. The first goal is to get a hold of weaponry. Now, I'm thinking boulders first. So I need a heavy workbench, which, which means I need an anvil, um, a furnace, some iron or lead, I don't know which this world has. I wish I had a bug net because I want all of these ladybugs so much luck. We'll worry about that later. Uh, but we're gonna head underground with what torches we have and hopefully we'll be able to find some useful materials and not die too much along the way. And then the second goal that we're going to have is building a small lean-to shelter. I'm not thinking about any boss fights today. I'd like to get some gear going. I'd like to get some health going. Um, so we're gonna do a lot of underground exploration, probably some overground exploration. Uh, definitely wanna get some armor made, find some life crystals, all of that good stuff. Minecart rails are usually a pretty good way to find loot, but not when I completely ruin my speed and get swarmed by slimes. All right, <laughs> now they're out of the way. Uh, let's see, oh, there we go. First life crystal. Now I'll probably be using the life crystals right away. I'm not worried about the Eye of Cthulhu spawning because I have no armor. I'll just need to make sure that my armor level doesn't hit, I think it's six. I think it's six. Uh, so I need to make sure that my armor level doesn't hit that or my health doesn't hit 200 but I do want to have some survivability. Here we go. The first bits of iron right here. This is the start of our hippie empire. I'm very excited. All right, so that's pretty much the end of what's over there. Back on the track, we're gonna head the other way. Maybe I should check some of these upper passages too, just in case they have nah, nothing. But I should be thorough in my exploration anyway. <laughs> this uh, initial mount here, this minecart, doesn't do a whole lot of damage against those slimes. And, uh, oh, there I am. First death of the game already. Uh, I was waiting for the last few seconds to be able to heal, but I ran into that slime. So this is going to be a bit of a slow progression for me because I have no weapons right now. I still don't have enough iron to craft a heavy workbench, so I don't have access to boulders or anything that I could use to actually defend myself. So the mining is not helping much. Why does that auto equip? I actually don't like that. We're just gonna go ahead and delete that staff. I was gonna sell it later, but since it auto equips, I don't wanna forget that it's on and kind of ruin my let's play. Um, 
So we're just going to go ahead and try to get as much iron as we can, suffer through the deaths, and soon we should be able to defend ourselves. You know what? I've decided I'm getting rid of the wings, or at least I'm stashing them. I'd like to be able to suffer fall damage, I guess. Um, I'll probably keep the hook, though. <laughs> <laughs> I want to earn my ability to slow fall and withstand a substantial fall. I have not earned that ability yet. Hey, most of my gold is still there. Nice. Are you actually going to help me, Barry? Maybe you are. Maybe you are. Oh, fancy. Thank you. Normally, fairies just lead me to stuff I've already found or stuff I've placed. I mean, I'm not building underground right now, so that's not a concern. But yay, a helpful fairy for once. Let's see what we've got. Double jump. More iron. Okay, the iron's huge for me right now. Shine potions are going to be very helpful as well. All in all, a very good haul. And we're also going to just grab that chest because I don't really have a whole lot in the way of storage at the moment. I'm going to start off with some rudimentary storage placement. Um, I'd like to build a nicer base eventually. But we've got to start off somewhere, right? From rags to riches, as they say. Ah, our first underground cabin let's see what we've got in here Ooh, this might not be handy at all come to think of it i won't be using magic because i won't be using weapons uh spike shoes i like it weapons don't need them all right so now we've got a double jump and we can cling onto walls very handy that's a massive pile of iron. I can't turn that down. All right, I've got to go back and get that because I can't turn that down. But uh, that slime's going to be a pain. You picked up some of my cash. How did I not trigger that the first time I went through here <laughs> or see that or see the iron there <laughs> I can believe I can absolutely be the most oblivious person when it comes to let's plays I could miss the most obvious things right in front of me all right that trap is taken care of I'm actually gonna grab that pressure plate and let's hold on to that just right up here. That way I can quickly take a look and make sure there are no wires around. Things are hard enough for me right now as it is. I don't need to wander into traps either. I wonder if I can get beneath this purple slime here and try to get some of my gold back. He looks like he's got the gold glistening. So I think he actually has a gold coin on him. It'll be handy because I'd like to get the merchant right away so I can get the bug net and this, the piggy bank. All right, let's see. If we let him in here, can he come all the way in? No, he can't. And if we happen to mine these rocks right here, totally just mining and I'm absolutely not attacking whatsoever. Hey, look, some gold. <laughs> oh, this is silly. All right, I'm going to try and trap these slimes over here so I can get out safely. So they should... No! Hey! Oi! Go this way. Well, we got one of them. I need this other one. Over here. N yeah, yep. Over here. Over here. Come on. Over here. Right here. No. You see, you see, follow this guy. Uh, follow this guy down here. Thank you. Was that so hard? Should I memorialize this first spot? I'm going to mark this off. 
<laughs> Maybe we'll build something around it eventually. The first death of the Let's Play, only a few minutes in. Typical for me, really. <laughs> this track is turning out to be absolutely massive. I'm just going down it right now, and I'll check out the branching tunnels afterwards. But we did find that life crystal there. Okay, here's the end of that very long track. So we've got a lot of different branches to check out. Another chest. All right, we've got some Hermes boots, more iron. Oh, we've definitely got more than enough iron now. I don't even need to make the furnace just yet because we've been getting some bars, which is super handy. So I think I'm going to go back up to the surface and make our heavy workbench and some uh, boulders so we could actually defend ourselves a fair bit while we're underground. Um, I don't want to just teleport up there because I might as well explore while I head up. So let's slowly wait. <laughs> Ow. Let's slowly work our way back up to the top. Or we could just die immediately and go there right now. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention this about the van. But the reason I went with the wall for the tires is because they kind of look flat. So it looks like the van traveled through the area and then, well, got black tires, broke down, and now the hippie's stuck here and just making life on his own. <laughs> okay, so boulders. We're definitely going to be duplicating those. How many? Oh, five to duplicate. So we're going to research these. Now we have our first weapon, <laughs> the boulder. <laughs> I'm worried. Is this going towards me or towards the slime? Yes. I feel kind of less defenseless now. Oh, <laughs> I definitely need a pickaxe that's capable of breaking that in one hit. Uh, so that's going to be on the agenda. A pickaxe upgrade soon. So we've got our weapons now. I still want more health, so we're going to head underground, but I'm going to temporarily just place down a couple of chests and store some of the stuff that we don't need to carry around with us, including our money, which we don't have because we just died. Don't worry, this area will not just end up being a mess of chests. I will make a build. I will make a good looking build. Maybe not this episode. Maybe next episode, but there will be building happening and it's not going to just be crafting stations and chests placed under the ground like this. Well, that's not terrifying. I'm just now noticing that there was an explosive there. What's that even connected to and how have I not triggered it? It's off here to the side. Oh, well, hold up. There's is there supposed to be a dead man's chest here? Well, there's, there's a dead me here, but that looks like there might be a dead man's chest. Oh, this is a very trap laden chest. All right, I see this explosive down here somewhere. There it is. Lots of boulders. All right, here we go. More shine potions and nothing really great. But we do have the dead man's chest and that might come in handy because of the wiring capability. I really wish that the trapped chests worked like dead man's chests um, in that you could actually put stuff inside of them. I just saw more boulders. Maybe there's another dead man's chest there because I would love to have a dead man's chest version of every style of chest instead of just the golden one. You can get it to look uh, like a normal chest by painting it, but you can't get it to look like any of the really fancy looking chests that we have in Terraria. It's kind of a shame that you can't use those fancy ones as traps or just mechanic or uh, mechanisms. All right, definitely looking like another dead man's chest here. Just fantastic. I need all of the loot that I can get and these traps are going to be handy in the future as well because I might not be able to use weapons but I can build contraptions that bosses and enemies just happen to walk into. 
gold, another cloud in the bottle, some better potions. Ooh, teleportation. We might use those eventually. Not right now. I don't want to end up in the underground jungle right now because as it stands, I can't even handle these guys. <laughs> we meet again, jellyfish. This time, I am hopefully ready for you. Uh, I'm still gonna die to it somehow. I can feel it. All right, let's... Nope! <laughs> I thought that might do that. Uh, so we need to put a block there to make that go the way we want it. All right, this is going to be a bit of a learning curve, but we have our gold back. Up to six gold now, not too shabby. In fact, I'm going to actually work my way out of here this time so I don't perish in the caves with yet more gold. We'll uh, not go that way. <laughs> and this is why I'm giving myself a slight advantage with extended reach. It's going to be very handy to actually stay over here and to use my weapons because I can't get up close and personal. All right, so I was going to check out that boulder trap and see if it's a dead man's chest, but this fairy just showed up and isn't going down there, so it doesn't seem to be. Uh, but let's head down this way anyway and see if we can find something of value. The fairy seems interested at least. Let's see where it's headed. What you got? Bombs? So, as far as bombs go, I'm going to treat them the same way that I treat my pickaxe, or my hammer, or my axe. I'm going to use them to break blocks, but I'm not going to necessarily use them as an intended weapon. Like, I'm not going to go out of my way to attack with it. Alright, so we've got... An extractinator, which will be good. A spawner for the Eye of Cthulhu, which I'm not going to be doing today. Probably tomorrow or in the next episode. But it'll be good to have that spawner there so we don't have to necessarily wait for it to show up. I know I said I need to head up to the surface, but uh, I don't know. I just keep finding these tunnels and I keep getting deeper and deeper into... Oh god, there's another mine track um i should be depositing my gold but you know what i'm a big dumb and i'm not going to deposit my gold do i have more i do have a shine potion great uh maybe shine potions will be something that i end up duplicating just because you guys will want to actually see what's going on and complete darkness it's not a very interesting video so I think that might be the only potion that I end up duplicating. Uh, I thought that would hit the skeleton down there, but I thought I was clear of it. <laughs> I nearly jumped out of my chair. I was not expecting that to clip me. I must have just barely been in line with it. Oh, hello, stormy day. Um, yeah, I guess I should have probably deposited my gold. You know what? This time, this time, for sure, I'm going underground, grabbing my gold, just magic mirroring out of there. Look at this guy carrying my gold around as if he was the one that ended my existence. Although, to be fair, he survived the boulder that I didn't. <laughs> Uh, all right, we've got the gold, and true to my word, I'm depositing it. And let's slap down another chest here and just deposit what we can real quick. And back underground we go. Oh, our first underwater chest. All right, we got shark bait. Fancy. I can use those pets because they do not attack. And it's got the... <laughs> gold die on it because that's what I'm using for my eyepiece <laughs> but yeah I was kind of hoping for a trident no I'm kidding I can't use that <laughs> uh, some water walking boots would have been amazing though 
Well, I thought the Shelly was going to kill me, but no, no, not at all. It was the dart trap. <laughs> all right, let us not have the same thing happen again. Or, you know, we could just die to a bat while I'm trying to box myself in instead. Holy, yo, 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 Look at that. I was almost boxed in when the bat got me. Should probably block this up too, because it can jump up here, clearly. Oh, <laughs> I did not expect that one to come from the other side. These guys can jump a heck of a lot higher than I thought they could could i was all right so i was going to box myself in because this bat was coming in hot and this guy came in from the left <sighs> at least i get a pretty looking build to come back to every time i die <laughs> as a hippie i am absolutely going to be needing to use lots of flowers so let's collect these sunflowers and actually these will probably be a pretty decent way of preventing that crimson over by spawn from creeping its way into my base. Here we go, the first living tree of the playthrough. I've already got two aglets. I don't know if I need a third. I definitely don't need the throwing weapons. Um, I'd like to sell some things, but again, I'm going to be making a gold farm, so it's really not the biggest of deals either. But let's see if we get lucky down here. Hopefully so. Well, that will be helpful, but not what we're looking for just yet. So we're looking for a, a room. It looks like we've got one here, and it looks like we've also got uh, a series of trees, which is great. Because usually you'll end up exactly with this. We've got both wands and a loom right here. Fantastic. Very, very happy to see those. And we have reached the left coast. I'm going to quickly go in here see if there's any chests. Again, water walking boots would be absolutely amazing. And hopefully I'll get lucky. Let's see. None in there. Grab those though. And looks like that was it. Let's get out of here. All right, so I do think I'm gonna start the first few houses. I'd like to get the merchant and I think we've got plenty of money for that. Um, we're up to 16 gold now, not too shabby. Um, but I'll also need a house for the guide and I'm not sure, but I think the nurse has priority over the merchant, so I'm thinking I might need three houses. All right, so with these materials in place, the build that I'm thinking about doing is having something where the van broke down, we're stuck here, and we're just gathering what we can and creating a temporary or small lean-to. Already we have the merchant moving in. Now, I know it doesn't look like much at the moment. Like I said, this is temporary. It's gonna be torn down. I just wanted something ramshack that it looks like they cobbled together really quickly in order to get themselves safely situated in the new environment. So I want it to look like it's just kind of thrown together very hastily but since we have our merchant there are a few things that we need to go ahead and buy first of which is indeed the piggy bank 
Um, absolutely want to be able to stash my money away, so we're going to buy one of those. I've considered the mining helmet, but in all honesty, I'm going to be duplicating the shine potions just so that we could see underground anyway, and I don't really want to sacrifice armor just for light, so we're going to not be using the mining helmet. We'll be buying this forest pylon, why not? I'm sure that we'll be using those in the future, but the big one here is going to be the bug net. That's going to be a very big purchase for us, and I will show you exactly why. So we have here a bunny. And as many of you know, bunny is friend. And what many of you might not know is that we can equip bunny friend with a little stick of dynamite. Now, I might not be able to fend for myself and fight, but Bunny friend can. Bunny friend can defend me. So if I take bunny friend and I give him a bit of dynamite and we go out into the world and we find a not so friendly slime friend. <clears throat> I said a not so friendly slime friend. Aha. <laughs> just what I ordered. Then Bunny Friend defends us. I should probably turn this slider back down before things get crazy. All right, so that is probably gonna be one of my biggest sources of, no, Bunny, I was gonna capture that. Anyway, that's probably gonna be one of my biggest ways of defending myself. Um, so I need to go back underground and gather 25 dynamite or get the, nah, I'm not gonna get the demolitionist. Yet, I'm going to just go underground and explore. Well, that was a lot. Um, there were like four cave bats and the slime and the skeleton in there. Big mistake. I've also changed my mind. I have spent like a uh, good 20 minutes down there and I've gone through three Spelunker potions and I have found all of one dynamite. So you know what? We are going to get the demolitionist to move in. One more temporary house it is. And it looks like while I'm at it, we got visited by the traveling merchant. So I'm gonna take a peek and see what he has. Uh, we're definitely too broke to buy anything, which is highly unfortunate because he's got two things for the architect gizmo pack. That kind of sucks, I'm not gonna lie. I shouldn't have looked at all. Shouldn't have looked at all. Cause I, I just lost all my gold. You know what, I, I bought this piggy bank and never used it. I'm a genius. Back to building, I'm gonna build my woes away. And just like that, and we've got 25 dynamite, which means we can now make 25 bunny friends to help us out. And we will be researching these. And now we have an army of bunny friends. Now, these aren't exactly the safest things in the world because, well, frankly, that can happen. So I have to be extra careful with how I use these, but they're probably gonna be my primary source of protecting myself. Thank you, bunny friends. And as the sun sets and the NPCs move happily into their really ugly shack, which trust me, this is going to look amazing later. I have lots of plans. I just don't have the materials for them yet. But as they move in and the sun sets, that will be the end of the first 
hippie let's play episode we've made a fair bit of progress we are sitting at 280 health in the next episode we will get that to 400 um we have bunny friends to help us we have boulder friends to help us and we're looking like we can defend ourselves quite a bit better in the next episode we will be tearing down this hut and starting the landscape to look much better i have to keep the guide safe but everybody else meh, who cares they don't need houses just yet i just needed these houses temporarily so that i could get this guy right here in the next episode as well i'm going to be fighting either the eye of cthulhu or king slime maybe both we will see. I hope you guys have enjoyed the first episode of the Hippie Let's Play. If you did, be sure to leave a like and comment. But before I go, I just wanted to say thank you to my biggest supporters for this month. Matt Dragon, Nate Wiley, Dragon Rider, Hippic3, Duke Samron, and Nick Peasley. And be sure to follow my channel artist, Mythical Water. Her channel is linked in the description below. Thank you all very much for watching. I'll catch you all later. Oh my god, it's so tempting, but I can't kill the guide. I have to keep him safe. But all the bunnies are right here. Oh, it's so tempting. You have no idea how lucky it is that you are still alive right now. Anyway, happy building.